okay, so, so what I'll do right now is just go through and show you how to set um, the path so that you'll be able to um, run GCC. So right okay. now, and I'm kind of repeating some of the things that we've said so that it makes sense when you go back and look at it. So if I bring up a command prompt, when I run GCC, it says fatal error, no input files, but at least it found GCC, but it says you didn't give me anything. If I have another program, I'm gonna make up some name, it won't recognize it because it hasn't been, this, this other program that I just tried to run from the command line, GCCCC, it doesn't know where to find it. And that's because when I look at the shell environment variables, there's this one environment variable that's called path that has these different directories that it's going to search within to go try to find any executable we try to run. So it goes through this first one up to the semicolon, goes through each one of these, looks to see if it's there, stops at the semicolon, and then it goes through the next one. So we have to tell it which directories to search through. And so the easiest way to change the path um, is to do it from within Windows. So what I'll do is I'll show you how to do it from within Windows. Okay. So I'm going to show this and I'll share screen one here. And so what I'll do is here's the, I'll hit the windows key mm -hmm. and, and then I'll type here to search. It's just easier to do this. And then I'll say ENV and it allows me then to select edit the system environment variables. So now I can go in and change one of those environment variables, which is the path, the name, the list of paths. So I'll select that. Over here at the bottom, it says environment variables. And either I can change it, if I have multiple users on my computer, I can just change it for myself or I can change it for just the entire system. Um, so let's just, it really doesn't matter which one you choose. I'm gonna change it so that no matter which directory I'm in, I mean, no matter which user I'm kind of going in as, it'll be okay. So I'm gonna change it globally. Doesn't matter which one you use, but let's go ahead and hit edit. And these are, these are all of the different directories it's going to go in and, and search. So I wanna make sure that I add a new, if it's not already there, you're going to add a new directory and I need to know what to put in there. I need to know where my compiler is. So let me go back and do a Windows E to open up and explore. So just opening up and explore. And then I wanna go find out where my compiler is. And I know that my compiler is here under um, program files, x86 code blocks, mingw is the suite of compiler tools. And then under that is bin. So that's, these are the binaries. You'll see all of these executable. So you see something says, it says C++ and cpp.exe. Um, there's a G++, GCC. This guy right here is the compiler that we use. Okay. So this is where I wanna be and I'm going to click up top and take that and do a control C and grab that directory because that's where I want it to go to find my GCC. Okay. So now I can go back here, select new. Um, well, select edit the path and then select new. And this just do a, a paste. Um, and okay and okay. 
Now, what's going to happen is that this previous command prompt that I had opened up um, is, it still has the old environment variables. So the changes that I made um, will take place once I opened up another command prompt. So when I open up another, another com command prompt and type GCC, it, it should show up um, so that it says, all right, I'm here, no input files. So you should see this message, no input files versus the one that you would have seen before that said okay. it's not recognized. Um, okay. And then I can do an echo path. Um, let's see, echo. Uh, which one is it? Percent. Oh. Going back and forth between systems and. The, oh. Well, easiest, easiest way to do it is just to do a set. If I do a set and I go back and look at the path, you should see that there's been another path attended, uh, uh, appended to the end. Okay. So that sh should get you in. I'm gonna make this just a short, I'll go ahead and stop the, the video. Cool. And that will allow you to run it from any command, any command line. I think you're still recording. Oh, yes I am. <laughs> 